Hey guys, this is Alberto, aka Destroyer48. Subscribe for food, ha ha ha. Um, today I'm going to do the review on the new movie, The Flash. <clears throat> yeah, um, man, I don't know what what to say about The Flash. Um, it did it did not start off well. Um, a lot of it was a the Flash just babbling, being annoying, and uh, I think the best, not the best part, but what helped, what helped that movie, which was not enough, was Batman came out. Um, yeah, Batman came out, so. That was good. Um, I'd rather see him. There, um, there's a part where where the Flash is like. There's a there's like a building exploded or something out like that, and it it was actually a hospital building, and it was a skyscraper kind of deal. Uh, exploded and babies were still up, you know shut out from the explosion from the 50th floor or something and they were flying out the window and then the flash found a way to go up there in the sky and start saving babies I mean that was pretty dumb that was you know he's trying to save all these babies and he does and there's like 15, 20 babies and up in the air blowing from his... I mean, that, that's just pretty dumb. I did not like that. Um, they show Batman, like, going after an armored vehicle. That was cool. His All his devices were cool. It was about the same thing. Um, He kept on doing this thing. I don't. I don't know. If he did it. I don't think I ever saw him do it in other movies. But he would have like a wall, and he go like this really fast, like da -da 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 -da, and go through the wall. Um, that's new. Uh, that part of me wants to say it's cool, but part of me says not. But there was worse parts than that. <laughs> um. If y'all don't know the flashes or like the previews, he's going in the in the past to try to save his mother. Uh, so he goes like I don't know what it what it is. It's like a dimension where he's going fast. Whatever that was annoying. I mean I don't, I didn't mind it so much if it went one time, but he kept going back there because once he goes back in time. He's doing it again. He needs to correct other stuff because he's he's ruining he's ruining the past. Just like Batman had warned him, was like if you go change something, you can ruin everything else. And you know, only only God knows is like what's gonna happen next. What you you can screw up, you can screw up something in time, and then it's gonna come up come with you know great consequences. He keeps going there, and it gets, it gets annoying. Uh, what I thought was pretty cool was in the past he has to look for Bruce Wayne and and because he changed the the past Bruce Wayne known as Batman he's they go to his mansion and and uh, and Bruce is like kind of crazy he's not he's not dressed nice like he usually is and. And he's like, he's like a bum in his robe and stuff like that. I mean, that was interesting. Uh, but, but Batman still has all his stuff in the mansion, all his weapons and all that. He's just not doing it. He's saying that, that, um, Gotham City safe now. Okay, that was, okay, interesting. That's another, that was a part. And then, um, The Flash, he... He meets up with his former self. So now there's two flashes. There's a, the flash from the future and the flash from the present. I mean, the first guy was already annoying. And then all two flashes, that's 
double annoying. They kept saying these jokes. They kept saying these jokes are not were not funny. I didn't think it was funny. I like creative funny. It's just plain, not not even plain funny. Um, it just didn't. It reminds me kind of like Birds of Prey, like with Harley Quinn. Like, I do I do like Harley Quinn. That's why I watch that movie. But it it's like. It's like a feeling where nothing's going anywhere. That's the kind of feeling I got from the Flash. It's not going anywhere, and on top of that, it's annoying me. Um. Now, what happens is they have to go to a Russian base uh, for a mission, and you got Batman. You got the Flash, and then they go do you know? You got both Flashes. Um, they go to that Russian base. At this point, I'm still, I'm still like, when is this gonna be over? Kind of, kind of feeling like I want to get out of here, but I can't leave because I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna waste the ticket. So, anyways, they're in Russia. Two flashes and a Batman. They go to Russia's base and like, okay. And then they find this girl there. Like, she's an experiment. She's like a prisoner. And then she's all on the floor. She's all knocked out. Like, they have not been treating her right. She's like in a potato sack kind of clothes. Like, really messed up. And I'm like, I was, at that point, I was not interested. I was like, okay, I don't know who she is. And I, I, I don't know where my mind is, but I'm like, I should have known better because I was like, oh. It's just a human, you know, what are they going to do with her? They're probably going to disregard her. That, that's just what I thought. Very little was back in my mind, like, hey, she's going to be somebody. Well, let me tell you, it turns out to be Supergirl. And she's she has short, dark hair. And like I said, she's all in sack potato clothes, like ruined clothes and everything, and they pick her up. And uh, and while once they get her going, like they pick her up, and then she they find her uniform, and she's ready to go. Like it's like wow, it's like what she had a presence to her. I thought she was very beautiful, and not a Barbie type of pretty face, normal plain Jane. Look, no, she had a unique look to her. She looked beautiful. And then she puts on her Supergirl outfit. And wow, does she look a lot better. She got out of her set clothes. She got into her Superman, her, I'm sorry, Superman, excuse me, Supergirl outfit. And she looked awesome. She, does. you know how super the last Superman looked like? Well, she looked like she had, the costume looked the same except for her or her, her clothes, whatever, Superman clothes, the cape and all, she looked, she looked even better, and she looked beautiful, and at first, I was like, where's the blonde hair, or, uh, Supergirl usually has blonde hair, no, she had dark hair, they changed it, I usually don't like changing characters, but she looked awesome, she looked beautiful, she looked powerful, she had a presence, I'm like, okay, now this movie's going somewhere, she looks super awesome, uh, so after that, they're gonna all of them, Batman, the two Flashes, and Supergirl. They're gonna go to battle with Zod. You know, Superman's main enemy. He's he's invaded and stuff like that. Uh, invaded the Earth at that at that point in time in the past. And there's a really cool battle scene. Really awesome. There's a lot of acting like a like. You got the U.S. I believe it's the it's the U.S. Army there. They're fighting Zod's uh, army. And Zod's army looks cool. And uh, like I said, the two flashes, Batman and Supergirl, are in the fight, and they're fighting Zod. It's a whole big battle. Now I'm getting somewhere, and the feeling I get is that Batman and Flash are fighting, and Supergirl just makes them look better just because she's there. Okay. The Flash finally does something I like. He does a 
Uh, he gets one of the ba Zod's soldiers, a strong soldier, puts the robot on a bat breaker, breaks the back or something like that. And I'm like, finally, he did something I liked. You know, all that slow mo running in before, before this, like back back in the future, him running, running and doing everything in slow mo. It was it was it was not entertaining for me. But here, the back breaker did he, he did it. Correct, it did good. It got my attention. Finally, he did something. There's, like I said, they're still in the battle. Supergirl's doing a lot of cool stuff. She's fighting and everything. And when she flies in the air, she does the same like Superman. Boom, boom. Like, like and that's the way it happens. He goes in the air and, you know, she flies. She does stuff like that. But here she's in a fight. She's fighting Zod. And they're fighting and... <clears throat> it's really cool. Batman's in his in his jet. Batman jet doing some cool stuff, whatever. And it's it's a really awesome scene. But I'm telling you, Supergirl. I thought, man, maybe Supergirl is gonna finish the rest of the film. But no, she only she's only comes out to me. It only seemed like 20 minutes, maybe 25 minutes, and that was the best part of the movie. After she's gone. Uh, she doesn't have to come out anymore, and then we're back to boring. We're like this, and we go back to Flash. She's gone. Right. Um, I don't want to tell you what happens to her, because I don't want to do a spoiler on her. Uh, but she does make the film, that's all I'm going to tell you. I, I'm not going to say I'm not ever going to get tired of seeing it. It makes the film. Um... But like I said, then it came back to Flash and Batman, and yeah, it was like this is a world. And then Flash comes out and Bruno goes down. He starts doing that thing in dimension again, trying to change that. Boring. I don't like it. Um, there's this other thing I need to bring up. They bring up. It makes the movie so unbelievable when they go doing this, when Flash is doing that thing in the. That dimension and try to change time, whatever. Every time he does that, but this time it's even worse because they show like not just there but other parts of the movie. They show the different Batman's that that came out, like George Clooney, uh, George Clooney was one of them, and then they showed uh, Superman, Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve wasn't the last Superman. This is that was way back in the eighties. They showed a bat, uh, Superman that looked like Nicolas Cage. Did Nicolas Cage ever come out in a, a Superman movie as Superman? That did not make any sense to me. Because to me, I'm gonna say this real quick. To me, to make a to make a movie good for you really enjoy a movie, you have to have, the movie has to put you in a zone where you're really into the movie and you think it's real. That's what makes a movie. Once you doing start doing stuff that the movie's telling you that it's fake and and going to pass actors that play Batman super that ruins it. That does not get you in the zone. That's my opinion. It's just my opinion. Everybody may have a different opinion. I did not like that that they show the other Batman. So to me, it's just showing that okay, these are the past movies we made, and you know, and that Batman's fake, and because uh, all these other actors played it. That's that's when they did that. That's what I thought. Because in Batman, what in the Batman animated series, or you know, or in the comics, there's only one Batman, really, right? The, we're talking about the original, and I'm not talking about multiverses and all that stuff. Uh, and no, it didn't say like, oh, this Batman, there's a different Batman because it's from another universe. No, they didn't even say that. They just said that all these other Batman just popped up from other films and it just made it, made the movie look, make the Flash movie look so fake. Um, a lot of the movie is about concerning the Flash trying to save his mom. When he goes in the past, he's trying to. Save her, change time to save her. They show a lot of grocery stores, uh, scenes where she's at the grocery store. Um, there's the, the Flash's dad is and they think they didn't find witnesses to her. His mom was murdered at their house. They didn't, they didn't not witnesses, but they didn't find other suspects to see who killed her. So they're going to, they're going to blame his dad. So they put his, the Flash's dad in jail. 
It's kind of like, who cares? It's just because the movie... The movie was almost a flop. The only good thing about it was maybe... The best thing about it was Supergirl. She almost saved it, but they took her out. And I can understand they take out Supergirl because... It's not Supergirl movie. It's Flash movie. They need to make a Supergirl with that with that Supergirl and just leave her like that. Leave her like that. Make Let her make her own movie. And oh my gosh, it's going to be at least 10, 20... <coughs> excuse me. 10 or 20 times better than The Flash. <coughs> they need to make The Flash better. They need to make them, make them do better stuff. Make them less annoying. Maybe get another Flash that... I'm sorry to say, man. This guy's not attractive. I'm straight and everything, but this guy is not handsome. If you get a, a handsome, skinnier Flash, get him to do better moves, get it to be more interesting. I say do more stuff where he's just going fast. You know, do a couple of slow most things, but he's going fast and give him better powers. Uh, no, what he needs is more like the backbreaker. That was good. He needs to do more wrestling stuff like that. It's as ridiculous as it sounds, but he needs to do more interesting attacks. The thing going through walls, I think I could have put up with it if the rest of the movie wasn't so crummy. I mean, it's an interest. It's kind of interesting. I kind of half like it. I half don't like it. It goes like this, and he goes through walls, and he comes back. Now there were a couple of of. Uh, um, there were a couple of um, funny parts I thought were funny, but most of the things they were trying to be, you could tell they're trying to be funny and they're not funny. Flash is not funny. He's annoying. Um, once again, one Flash is being annoying joke, they, and then you have two. Throughout most of the movie, it's more annoying. And then he does his laugh. <laughs> I've heard somebody do that laugh before in another movie. It's just irritating. I don't know. I guess come up, try to come up with a laugh. I mean, I mean that'd be fine for the for the movie, but make it more funny, a more funny of a laugh, not an annoying laugh like that. It was just annoying, and on top of that, I already had said it in my YouTube shorts when I talked about it that. I would be very shocked. Uh, I mean, I saw the previews. It looked good. It looked good, especially when uh, when Batman came out. Oh, on, on top of that, uh, Wonder Woman did come out, but she could have made it. She it's like she popped up too, right? And she was like, "Wow, Wonder Woman's here!" You know the the girl that's been playing Wonder Woman all this time, Gal Gadot or whatever her name is. Uh, it was like, wow, she's here. She only comes out briefly. She very little does she come out. She if she they would have put her in, that would have helped. But nowhere, she had a good presence to her. But she they, the bad thing about it, like I say, they only kept her for a little bit. They, they should have kept her for, they should have kept her for most of the movie. But nowhere did she have the presence of Supergirl. Supergirl is. Her part, she blew it out of the water. Very, I don't even want to talk about it. I already said it. I mean, I do want to talk about it. I don't want to be repeating myself. It's awesome. Awesome part of the film. No, but I was, I was saying, I already said in my YouTube shorts, the previews looked good. Uh, it's more, because I was like, more old oh, Batman's going to come out. It's going to be a whole Justice League stuff, right? Um, And I, I had said, if this movie disappoints me, I'd be surprised. And I am surprised. I am shocked how bad it was. For the exception of Supergirl. Um, they ruined it. They completely. Almost completely ruined it. The only thing they did good was Supergirl. So what made the movie so bad. I already talked about everything that made it so bad. Especially the, bringing the last Batmans. And the, that played. Uh, Batman, George Clooney, and others, um, and Superman too. That I don't understand why they put a Superman that looks like Nicolas Cage. I don't remember Nicolas Cage playing Superman, but it looks like him. The old Christopher Reeve, the Superman from the eighties. There's only one Superman, as far as I know. That I'm talking about the original Superman. 
Now you know, not multiple universes or whatever. Um, so I think I'm gonna that oh the ending like you know when the when the movie ends the credits and all that stuff you know that's gonna be like a continuation or show something that's gonna continue to the next movie. Uh, of course, I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but that was that was good. It was just a little bit little part like oh okay, like the movie finished, credits come out or whatever or the scene comes out. Uh, okay, like. The surprise happens. Of course, I'm not gonna be mean to tell you what the surprise is, but it's like okay, that was like wow, okay, but and that was it. We finished. I I'm wondering how to grade it. I would give this movie one grade, but this is special circumstances. The whole movie, I give it for Flash. I give it an F. And that goes with it really good, right? Flash and F. The part with Supergirl, the 20 minutes, I give it an A+. And I don't know if y'all gonna think I'm crazy or whatever. That part with Supergirl actually inspired me. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm down on my luck right now with, with stuff. With friends and family and feeling sad and all that. Let me tell you this. The part with Supergirl actually inspired me because what inspires me about life is when the rare times I see like beautiful stuff and that was beautiful. That 15, 20 minutes of Supergirl, it's it, when I saw I saw that thing of beauty, she's beautiful, powerful and all that stuff. It inspired me like, wow, there can be some beauty in life, you know. And if I think if this is this is. For guys, guys are going to think she's beautiful. It works both ways. Guys are going to think she's beautiful and girls that see her, they're going to be like, okay, you know, girl power and all this stuff. And you should. Once you see her. I didn't want to forget to say this. I'm going to, and I'm going to say, I would buy, I'm so inspired by Supergirl. I will buy that movie just to see her. All the Flash stuff, I'm going to, I'm going to do it like Flash. F, F for Flash, F for Fast Forward. I'm going to fast forward all the parts of Flash if I ever buy that movie in the future and just, and I will, and just watch Supergirl for that 20, 25 minutes. That will inspire me to be like, hey, I'm down on my luck. I'm having problems with family and friends and all that stuff. But that inspires me. Now I have that, mm, I, now I'm inspired. Now I'm ready to attack my problems. Y'all are probably going to think I'm weird for saying it, but that's just the way I feel. To each his own, y'all going to think differently. But I hope if y'all see it, like y'all, the ones of y'all haven't seen it, and if you see it, I hope she inspires me just like she, she inspires you like she inspired me. It's just an awesome part, man. It's like a movie I saw, um, what's it called? The one with Jet Li. That movie has a lot of martial arts. I, I kind of don't care about it. I forgot about it. But at the end when Jet Li is, uh, they put him in a, they put the bat, it's actually two Jet Li's, but they put the bad Jet Li. They throw him in some kind of a prison dimension and they put him on top of a hill and then all these prisoners want to attack him or do something bad to him. And he starts beating him up and it comes up with that song, uh, Cut My Life to Pieces is the last resort. It, it plays that song and it looks super, the song was so badass with him fighting everybody and throwing them down the hill. That was one of the best the indies I've ever saw. Awesome. Supergirl has, a, has that same effect on me. It, it's just, I get the super cool part, like I tell you, an A+. Plus. Flash for F, it, when Flash comes out, it failed. For the exception of Supergirl, I'm already tired of repeating myself. So I'm going to... So I said what I had to say about it. Uh, I don't know. Y'all can comment to me if y'all ever get the... When that movie comes out on DVD, and if you... Do what I recommend, and if you go buy it just for that part, I mean, it sounds ridiculous. It's going to be expensive. But if if you feel the same way I do, you can comment to me and let me know. I would like to know. Not just not just for popularity comments or whatever. No, i really like to know. Um, so, yeah, the Flash was a, was a big flop. Um, I, I would have wrecked for... I would have recommended... For you to go see the theaters. 
unless the few of you want to get inspired and just see Supergirl and and maybe you're gonna say, hey, Alberto, you're you're exaggerating too much. Okay, you can tell me it's fine. To each his own. I mean, I really blown it up. Maybe you, you see, you might expect more. But that's my review for the Flash. It was a big flop. I would not, you know, if you wanna, if you want them for sure, if you want the movie to be good and perfect. Don't see it, man. It's it's really bad. <laughs> I had people had told me some critics that it was bad. No, no, I know. Yeah, and I was like, no, it couldn't be. I saw that previous. Yeah, yeah, it's really bad. It's a flop. Well, thank you for seeing my review. Um, so um, that that I've uh, completed my review of the Flash. Again, thanks for watching my review of the Flash. Um, and hopefully, the next review I. I show it'll be of a good movie. <laughs> yeah, it was horrible. All right, till next time. Um, well, I'm going to leave you with this line that I always say. The world will never be a perfect place, but we can all make it better. Till next time, my name's Alberto, a.k.a. Destroyer 48. I will see you next time. Bye.